the Lord. I do strongly believe that God will not ask us to suffer anything beyond our capacity. This is a famous quote by St. Maria Theresia. Dear all, today I would like to share a few things about her and also I will tell you why she is regarded as patroness of families. She was born to devote parents, Thoma and Thanda on 26th April 1876. Her father and mother had deep faith in religious matters and always encouraged their children to grow in deep faith. Her mother used to explain the meaning of daily prayers. Thus, Teresa got a good foundation in her religious faith. And so, from childhood onwards, her life was a spiritual journey towards high perfection. How lucky, isn't it? But no, she had a tough childhood. Teresa was a family-oriented person during her childhood and even after becoming a nun. Due to the death of her mother, she had to take up a lot of responsibilities at a very young age. She clearly understood the requirement of each one in the family and acted accordingly. She was like a mother for a younger sister. How can a girl of 12 years perform all these responsibilities? All this she could do because she loved her family and moreover she dedicated her soul and body to Mother Mary on the day of her mother's death. I cannot sleep comfortably on bed when Jesus is hanging on cross on three nails. Young Mariam Theresia told this to her mother once. She not only said this but also practiced by seeing Jesus in others. I will explain one incident in her life. In January 1909, smallpox spread across the state. Hundreds of people died. There was no one to look after the infected people. They tried to bury the people alive. Theresa, along with the companions, came forward, started nursing, consoling and preparing people for a peaceful death. Do you know how she could do all this without fear? Just because her love for God and her love for the fellow beings. Similarly, she took care of other families and their needs during the tough times, even after becoming a nun. She prayed for the families, especially for the conversion of sinners. She fasted for them, visited them and encouraged them for repentance. She had concern for ministering to families as a way to share compassionate love of Christ. Her special gift was to reconcile members of broken families and work to foster peace and prayerful atmosphere in them. She used to pray and seek the help of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary and Joseph. She founded a congregation in 1914 and due to her deep devotion for Holy Family, it was named as Congregation of Holy Family. Though she was the founder of Holy Family Congregation, she lived a simple down-to-earth life and never took credit of any work. What if I say Maria Theresia is the new Veronica of the Way of Cross? Veronica was moved by the suffering of Jesus and shed all the fears of being a woman and the judgment of the community she belongs to and offered her will to our Jesus face. She earned her place in heaven through this compassionate act. In similar way, Maria Theresa, with less in freedom for women those days, was moved by the plight of the poor and needy families in Putanchera and came out of the four walls to extend her support to them. Those families for whom she worked tirelessly during her worldly life were the first ones to come and seek her intercession after her death. The word about the love for the families 
spread across the world as countless blessings and miracles poured in. There is no one better than Maria Theresa who can be crowned as fraternist of families. May God bless all our families through the intercession of Saint Maria Theresa. Thank you.